Let's edit a design file in Mesh Mixer. Click the cloud icon to go to the 123D gallery and select something there or click on My Projects to select a file you've saved there. I'm going to edit my Frog in a Teacup project. It's set to public so you can edit it too if you want. Click on it and it'll come into Mesh Mixer. Press the T on the keyboard for the Transform tool and run your mouse over those hash marks to set the angle. I'm going to drag it down also to get it closer to the grid. Hold the spacebar down to bring up that hotbox with those navigation tools. I don't want the handle, so I'll select and delete it. Click Select and run it over the whole handle. Make sure everything is selected. And then hit Delete. I'm left with a odd little bit there. So I'm going to click on the Analysis tool, Inspector, and then Auto Repair. And that takes care of it. Now I don't want the frog anymore either, so I'll select it. It's a bit trickier because, as you can see, I'm inadvertently selecting the bottom of the cup. But if I hold the Shift key down and run the Select tool over those parts, they'll deselect. Then hit the Delete key. It's taken some of the cup with it, so again, we'll fix it with Analysis Inspector. Auto Repair All. Now I want to change the size, so instead of a cup, it's a bowl. At Units Dimensions, I'll overtype the size I want. I'm going to change that 46 millimeter dimension to 156, which is closer to 6 inches. And now the size has changed. Next. I want to mesh mix this with some pre-made parts. So I'll go to the mesh mix bucket, click on legs, I'll drag that one into the field. It's very large so I'll zoom all and it comes in with the transform tool so I'm going to change its position and then move it closer to the bowl. First I'm setting it on orthographic, that's under the view menu, to make this a bit easier. If I drag that white square, I can enlarge or reduce it. And click Accept. Now I want to cut off that angled part at the top. So I'll use the Plane Cut tool under the Edit menu. Drag the plane where I want and everything under that short arrow will be removed. So I need to flip this. Click Accept, and I've cut off the top, and now I just need to move it into place.
At View, open the Object Browser box. This shows you there are now two models. We have the bowl and the leg, and click on each to select it. With the leg selected, click Duplicate, and then hit the T key to bring up the Transform tool and move that duplicate aside. and then finesse the locations of both as you want. Now, select two in the Object Browser box and combine, and then combine the next two, and now it's all one piece that you can 3D print. Finally, at Analysis, check the stability. The yellow ball means it's kind of stable but still teeters. If you move the Contact Tolerance slider, the ball turns green, so you see with a little finessing, you can make this bowl perfectly stable.